Hello there, what's the story, what's the crack, how are you all keeping? This is the Panabunch, yes, Panabunch, and welcome back to Let's Play Pre-Dynastic Egypt. And so far we've just uncovered basically the starting area. We've done a little bit of research. Um, well, that's basically tier 3 research has all been completed. And yeah, we're just slowly but surely making our way through, gathering resources and growing our tribe. Uh, currently we have built... Okay, is this the... You've successfully finished... So you have successfully finished the improvement of an area, which gave us a population limit of plus three and improvement area plus one, which I think was here. No, that's a tribe. It was here. They're little houses. Okay. So primitive tribe. Our tribe is still primitive stage of development. It is nomadic and survives must be hunting. Uh, we live in temporary huts. Uh, for further development, we should discover Badari culture. Uh, victory conditions at the moment are all of these to create the, the kingdom of essentially take over Egypt. Uh, conquer the city of the god Seth. Unite 15 million river tribes. Discover the single Batathian. Build new capital and celebrate the unification of Egypt. Uh, we have permanent housing here. Uh, we know the secret of farming uh, and it can feed the tribe. It is time to build a settlement and start to settle. So we have one set in here so that'll be that taken care of. And we have one more worker to place which we shall... what are we short on? Nothing crazy, so let's let's actually discover this, tidy up this area a wee bit. So in turn, we're on turn 30. And one more. That should be that discovered. Anything interesting there? No. That's fine. That is fine. We should then throw it on that, because I know there's going to be some resources there, and then this will be built after this turn. And there we go. Where is this going to appear? Ooh, okay, the Sanctuary of the Falcon. Leaders of the local tribes have gathered and decided to build a sanctuary for the Sacred Falcon, but they could not agree on which settlement should erect it. Having argued, the leaders decided that the worthiest settlement would be the one who could finish the construction first. We have worshipped the Falcon for a long time, and this honour must belong to us. The competition for the building of the Sanctuary of the Falcon has begun. And if ten turns. Okay, so we can build three things. The sand... Oh, we're automatically going to do that. So it's going to take fifteen turns. 90 hammers. Oh, we can... Yeah, that's right. We can boost it by... 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and production. So we can finish it in 7 turns at minus 6 hammers a turn. Which is okay. Uh, we need to get some more hammers, so we're going to change our mind on that and do that. So we're still plus one per turn, despite that we are sacrificing six a turn, uh, which is good, which is good. Um, so next turn. And that's what we're going to focus on at the moment, is getting this, because the bonuses you get from it are just fantastic. Horus the Ruler. We pray to the Falcon Horus, or Totem, and ask him to accelerate the building of the Sanctuary. He is not just our ancestor and a born hunter, but also the wisest, all-knowing god. From now on, we'll honour him more than ever. The cult of Horus the Hunter has changed to Horus the Ruler. One time, free honour in the cult menu. Fine. Uh, so that'll accelerate the building by two. Honour, which is fantastic, which cuts this down, which, again, is just win-win all round for us. Reigns, which means we should have a bonus to food. And that'll last for four turns, which is also very good. Anything we should be aware of? No, this try we need to deal with at some point. Let's accelerate that by two. And it's done. So there's the Sanctuary of the Falcon in Heraconopolis in 4320 BC. Trial passed. Gold victory. The Sanctuary is built. Praise the Falcon. The priests say that the god himself helped us. Now the Sanctuary is an important religious center. So we've got a gold victory for it. We have an additional bonus of plus 30 food and plus 40 hammers. Which is fantastic. So we can build two more things. So we can get a field of green area 3 or field of flax area 2. This improves an area by plus 1 food, 2 hammers or just 2 food. And I think... I kind of want to get to this pretty quickly. So let's build that. Not that we have anybody we want to sacrifice for it yet. But we'll get, uh, we'll get two workers. Mission complete or try, but thanks to you... Thanks you and praise you. The sediment thrives and the fame of our deeds spreads around the region. 
Uh, so we increased our tribe to 8 and a one time bonus of 20 food and 30 hammers. Explore the region. According to the stories of travellers in this district, there are many interesting places. It is time to actively engage in scouting and expand our territory. Go scout 48, 48 nearby areas, already explored 15. And bonus scouting duration minus 50%. And resources from scouting plus 30%. Because sometimes when you discover an area, not only do you discover what's there, like you know, wheat or production or these kind of things, but you can also just find one-off amounts of, say, food or various different items. So let's actually finish. Let's actually, all these are down to like ones. Um, we could get another person, but that's okay for now. Plus 10, plus 10. Um, next turn. So let's discover two areas and hopefully the bonus stays in place. So that we can see three hammers. I knew that was a decent one. Bonus stays in place for a bit. And we can get a few more cheap discoveries. And we've got this to look at. So we available discover. Um, early cosmogony? Okay. In our place, it is believed that the world was created and governed by animal gods led by the falcons. So we get plus one to our... This one every turn, which is culture, I think. Uh, this is plus uh, one to food every turn. The first clay, or the Badari culture, which is one we actually need, so let's discover it. And we need it for other things. Uh, Strengthening of the Stark tribe, explore the hills of sandstone, discover Badari culture. To store food longer, the Egyptians invented pottery. The first pottery was baked directly in a fire, so it has a red color and burnt black top characteristic with the Badari culture. The first settled culture of the Egyptians. Nice. Community of farmers. Or tribes group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. For the region, the greening of the Sahara, two turns left on that. And okay, that's fine. Um, if we get another person, that would uh, damage our stuff, we'd get a negative buff, but we would have an extra person, which I'm tempted to do right now. Okay, let's do that. It's not the biggest hit in the world, but we... I want to get this thing built. The sooner we build things, the better. So a bunch of plus one foods. Uh, let's grab that one. That one. And that one. Next turn, please. Again, yeah, may as well grab the cheap ones as we can. Green Sahara is over. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure there's a tribe down there. I want to grab that one as well. And let's see what we can do with these guys. So if we trade, that offers three food for one hammer each turn. If we raid them, or unite. Cost 20 hammers every turn, and five turns. Uh, we could do that. But is it worth doing at the minute? Nope. Not right now. So in that case we shall begin discovering along here. Because why not? So where is this going to be built? Fine. Uh... So we could improve, yeah, let's let's grab the settlement straight away, and you can jump into that. I know it's taking our hammers a big hit, but it should be okay. We've uncovered two areas now as well, because there were just one turn left. Anything interesting? No, no. And another tribe. Before we do anything else, let's take a look at what we can do with them. Chance success 90%. You get 47 hammers. We can attack in five turns, and it takes five food per turn. No, something else, because we are short on the old food stuff. So it might be worth placing a worker on that. Uh, we'll just work that one for now. And... Uh, okay, just, just for a couple of turns, we'll grab food. Hostile tribe. 
plus one plus uh, I keep saying plus one plus one but one food one production and we have this trailer let's take a wee look at them he puts a Judum it's chance of success 60% uh, don't worry about them just yet so what do you want yeah, grab the one one Discoveries, let's grab this one hammer turn. Let's grab that one. Because if we grab that, I mean, this is what we spend, it's authority. It's what we spend on this, isn't it? Yes. So the more of that we have, the more chances we have to reduce things by two or to reduce scouting time in half or various different little uh, bonuses uh, like that. So next turn. So our population now is increased, that means we can get another person without having a negative effect. And now we have plus one authority being created in this region as well. So we can grab another one of them. So that's two people we have. Uh, I kind of want to discover with someone. Let's put him there. Let's look at what we can build. We could go straight on to that, but I'm thinking... We'll get the flax field, which give us a plus one food and plus two production somewhere, which will just make a more uh, worthwhile place to place a worker. So we're in turn 43. We haven't even looked at uh, the world map yet, but I don't think it's been unlocked. The growing threat. Scouts reported that our neighbours, the Fish Tribe, consider us weak and gather warriors to burn our settlement, but they can still change their mind. Go we'll become friends with them or increase the tribe to 13 so that they see we have a lot of people and that we are dangerous. To be honest, uh, if we do this, overpopulation, 9% uh, of that every turn, which is fine. If we do another one, the threat has passed and it's it's 18% per turn, so it is... What is it, the word I'm looking for? Do that, and... That? Why not? So we have Discoveries, which we can grab that for now. And Cults, so... Hold on, let's close. We have one turn left on that. So if we do this, if we honour the Heavenly... We honor, yeah, the heavenly cow. Pray to heavenly cow who gives birth to stars and fertility for land and cattle, gathering, farming, and cattle breeding plus one during three turns. We could have uh, honor the forefathers, and that's plus one culture, or we can accelerate the building of something by two. I want to save that and just end turn. So, some more exploring coming in. Now that's a good title. Plus two, plus three. That is a fantastic title. You're going to continue exploring. You, good sir, are going to... Wait. Um, build me some houses. And now we're going to honour this guy. End up by one. So now it's just one turn and done. See? See? There's method to my madness. Just a little bit of method. So we can't get that yet because we need rectangular houses. So the only thing we need... Conquer the, the tribe to the south of the city. So we'll build that. We should improve something by two, food-wise. So we need to consider conquering these folks. Which, uh... Ooh, new god. Besides Horus, our priests suggest that we begin honour and make sacrifices to a new insect god. It'll become an, an additional burden, but this god will help us for for certain. What will we decide? Uh, refuse. All other gods are unnecessary for us. Simple. That wasn't a, a difficult one. So one extra person here. Do we want to try these once again? Uh, unification cost. 20 hammers. Let's unite. Let's unite. Five turns. Again, not uncovering a lot of decent stuff there. Minus 13 hammers, so we fire him on there until we get over this building slash uniting a tribe. Plus four. That is crazy good. Let's put you there. I'm keeping those ones there. I know that's only one of each, but that's what I want. That's what I want. Can't build anything until we get some tech. So you 
can do some more discoveries. Next turn, please. See, this is what I like about this game. It's very, very, very laid back. Very chill. Um, let's just build the honor for a bit. Next turn, I just want to get this over and only. It's very laid back, but there is quite a bit of strategy to it. You know, what resources do you go for? What order do you do things in? And we haven't even started looking at the Egyptian map yet, which just adds a whole other level of complexity to it, which I find quite fascinating. Uh, uniting with the Stork Tribe. Our envoys were able to negotiate a confederation with them. The people of the Stork Tribe are ready to join together with us and take our gods as their own. Now we are one. One time plus one. Stork Tribe disappears from the map. Close. So, now we can build something. Which was this. So we build. That. Let's then take this guy. Let's take it down in one turn. And now we can discover. So pastures, uh, so the herds could grow further, uh, allows to build pastures, allows to build rectangular houses, and one time plus ten to the food, and then from fishing we get plus one food. So any of the river food wheat icons would be an extra one. So we're going to go with rectangular houses because I just think that makes sense right now. Uh, you can clean up that, clean up that, and what are we short on? Nothing really. But I suppose for a few turns it may make sense to grab this three food. Next turn. Ooh, that just changed big time. Ah, I was wondering something happened there. So that's just going to be one that we just keep now. Rectangular houses. Which will... Uh, areas improve, it improves three areas completely. And it gives us a plus four to population limit. Three turns, which is fine. Discover these two areas now as well. Clean up that corner of the map. Not that we're getting anything for it, but again, there is a mission to discover uh, 48 areas. Which. Restore the region. We're now at 37, so it does make sense to keep doing this. All threes, so we'll just clean that up there and we'll fire that guy there. Next turn. One more turn until we have the rectangular houses built, which will improve three of these areas. And I think it's quite a significant improvement in the grand scheme of things. So we'll just see now. So yes, yes, and so these are very, very worthwhile tiles right now. Very worthwhile. Building ways, what do we want to go on to next? We could have the cemetery of the commoners that improves two areas. We get plus. Ooh, that's a very good one. I think we grab this one straight away. Fire someone onto it. And next turn. And the reins are in, so we get a bonus to our food production. We've discovered another tribe. Green Sahara. Lovely. Four turns remaining on that. We have two people left here. We're actually just balancing out zero on the production production because <laughs> we only produce 27 but we're using 27 per turn uh, constructing this which is fine to be honest I'm just going to continue uh, discovering to we get that mission um, over and done with uh, okay oh, cults uh, next turn we'll use the plus two on a new build this is that's a good tile. That is a good tile. Mm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, I think we're going to take that. Which means we put someone there. We have, we have space for two more, which we will grab. We will also do this. Honor. So it's a one turn thing. And we have some discoveries. So we've got the food and the pastures. Let's discover the pastures because I like building shit. I'm going to put you there. And to be honest, we're going to put you there. The more of this we get, the sooner we can unlock things, which I just think is a very good idea. And we just continue. So that'll be three more areas discovered, I think. Oh, new tribe. And this build. Which just improves a lot of regions. I think we would have discovered all that that turn. So we have three people, we can build one thing. 
which is this. Which again we're going to do straight away because why not. And we'll fire these two guys out to discover these. And for the most part everything is improving greatly. We can buy even more people now to be fair. The exodus from the Sahara has begun. Uh, around 4000 BC the Sahara began to turn from savannah into desert. The dying earth forces indigenous peoples to leave. The dying earth forces indigenous peoples to leave their homes and wander in search of water. Some of the refugees come to our land. Uh, crowds of refugees are constantly coming from the Sahara, but we have no additional houses and no work for them, and we cannot take them all in. The inflow of refugees is raising, rising, and this could lead to disaster. Goal reduce social tension to zero, social tension to 7,500, and growing by plus five every turn, probability of unrest, blah blah blah. We could simulate that cost 40 food, or we could expel. Uh, let's simulate. Add a simulate, a simulate, uh, simulate. You could lose one person, that's fine. Ten turns to take care of this. I think we should be able to, no problem. Next turn. We can go reduce social tension to zero. That must be this one. It's currently 20. And growing by plus five every turn. Probability of attack, chance of rebellion. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell's going on. So let's do one more turn. Get these two people back. We put them on food so we can get plus 40 as quickly as possible again. The claim becomes drier and colder and leads to the desertification of our land. Our prayers to Horus. Do you not bring the desired results? We lose two food and hammers every turn. That is not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Ah, but we can get a discovery, which will give us a plus ten, and then we can get more from fishing. Yay! So that'll give us a plus three there. We get two twos. Okay, I think that's okay for now. Why do we get two people back? Migrants. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. I like migrants. Migrants are good. Migrants are very welcome. We get a plus two there. And we'll actually leave one to discover that. We have this guy. Which will do that. Honor. Get plus one from all of our foods. And we can simulate at the cost of 20. 20. Done. Gold victory. And I should have... Should have read that, and I apologize sincerely. Not a game, at the end of the day, you can just pause it. Uh, discoveries. We can get classes. The leaders and priests who deserve the respect of the people begin to pass power and wealth to their children by inheritance. It allows us to build burials with animals, so it gives us plus one growth to our authority every turn. We can have mud brick. Houses built from dried up mud bricks are better than reed huts covered with clay, which gives us plus two growth to our production every turn. And we could have the domestic domestication of donkeys uh, which reduces building price by 5% I'm thinking we go for we'll go for this reduce the cost of buildings not that we have anything to build right now but oh well I think this might be a good spot to leave it right now we've nearly completely uncovered our own region here uh, before we start uh, moving out and discovering the rest of uh, what Egypt has to offer. Uh, resource wise we're fantastic production we have great growth in each of our uh, four resources at the moment uh, but again there's a lot that's going to be thrown our way there's a couple of tribes that tidy up here and again we have all the tribes and various challenges that are facing us um, on the world map or the Egypt map. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying this game, but uh, this video is over, so please, 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 please go away until next time, folks. Good luck, and goodbye.